welcome. I'm trying this out live commentary style, so if this actually works out, this is going to be episode one. My name is Eric, also known as ZMC150, or just ZMC for short. Thanks for joining me here on this Let's Play of Maverick Hunter X. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start this on hard, because apparently I'm a masochist. Actually, not really, I just... Cutscene. These exist! us right into the central highway, opening level of Mega Man X. I forgot about this. So yeah, Haley is in this. And so here we have Mega Man X. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Maverick Hunter X, it's PlayStation Portable Remake, amazing music, 3D, and uh, some of the items, armor capsules, things like that that you're familiar with are actually in different locations, which you will see throughout this play. And so far, I'm doing a lot better than last time. <laughs> I swear I'm not a total scrub half the time. Anyway level throws a little at you. Not too much. Ooh, wow, that damage. That is hard mode for you. Eh, nothing too bad, though. But you have to be careful. If you get too close to him when that falls like that, you can actually get crushed by him. It has happened to me in the past. Never a fun occurrence. And I'm so used to not being able to dash. Wow. I hope I can get to uh, hit past the boss here without actually dying. It will be a little embarrassing to die to the opening boss. Although I have done it before. I am not entirely used to hard mode on this game. You take a lot more damage. And although your health bar looks incredibly small, it's comparable to the Super Nintendo version if you've ever played that. So it just looks smaller than it is. And I also notice I tend to charge my blaster a lot. Uh, some people kind of find the sound effect annoying if it's on constantly. I do apologize, and I will try to charge less actually as I'm saying this. Because it's not really necessary all the time. So again, I apologize for that if you're one of the people who find it annoying. Oh my god. Yeah, I think Vile is going to actually kill me. Because unlike previous games, or the previous version of this game anyway, the original, this fight plays out slightly differently. I'm just 
is here to cause trouble for you. I hate you. Hope you're ready, X. And so, yeah, you have to hit him in the head, or actually hit Vile. You can't hit his mech. His mech is invincible. Oh no! Okay, I was okay. I was a little worried there. You can die in that fight, unlike the original version. You have to beat him here. You underestimated me. I hate that about you. X, there's nothing you can do. I'll defeat you and Sigma. Then I'll change the world. Wow. X, are you all right? Zero. Why would someone as powerful as you align yourself with X? He's just a B-class hunter, nothing more. Vile, nothing but a maverick now. Zero, what happened to Vile? All I know is that he's our enemy now. X, I'm gonna stay on Sigma's trail a bit longer. You get back to Hunter Base and take it easy. Gotcha. Let's hook up again later. Zero. Thanks. You saved me again. Love the music in this game and the voice acting. Large-scale Mavericks have been detected in various locations. Pretty good, actually. Oh, no! They must work for Sigma! It looks like the Rebellion has begun. We'd better put a stop to them before we go after Sigma. Alright, I'm gonna do one more level here. We're gonna go do Flame Mammoth, and hopefully he doesn't kick my ass. Flame Mammoth! That's a big hopefully, actually. He usually kills me. When I play this on hard, I normally die out to him and come back after I've beaten a few other bosses, gotten some hearts. Oh! Oh, that's not an instant kill! Okay. That's good to know. He's gonna drop. Ugh. I'm not used to doing this level without the dash boots. And the reason why uh, I chose this level and not Chill Penguin is because in Maverick Hunter X, uh, the dash boots are actually found in this level instead of chill penguins standing out in the open. You actually get them right up here, where the blaster upgrade used to be. My name is Thomas Light. More this voice acting. For X. I entrust the future to you. Light? I, I think I know this guy. If you've come across this castle, I fear you must be in the midst of a difficult battle. I have left four powers for you to inherit. I believe that you will use them in the cause of justice. Here you will find the foot parts. Equip the parts you find in this castle and you will gain the ability to dash. Use this power to steer the future in the right direction. I trust in you, my dear X. Dash boost to steer the future. Gotcha, Doc. That sounds reasonable. Here we go. The dash boots. Still dash on the ground. Still only dash on the ground. And so, people familiar with the Super Nintendo version of this game, you're about to see another discrepancy or change. Right here. This used to have a block, or those blocks used to be along this door, or this path here, where the dash boots were needed to break them. Now you need the helmet piece to get that. And I'm just trying to get a look to see what this is. It is the sub tank. And the heart, oh, uh, oop, right, not instant death, is still in the same spot. And we can get there. We're gonna come back for that.
Alright. Getting close to the end here. And here we come. Oh! Why did I jump? Well, that just happened. Those, uh, spike ball enemies with the shields, they, uh, what are, they, what are they called there? Those, uh, Zuka Joe wannabes, or whatever the fuck they were called in Mega Man? <laughs> oh, man. No, I know what they were called. They were Sniper Joes. Come on, you can see the parallels. Unless you don't know the original Mega Man, in which case, there's an enemy similar to these that use a gun instead of a ball and chain. Same idea. Hide behind a shield. They also tend to jump. Oh, fuck you, buddy. By the way, I tend to swear at times, I'm gonna die again. I am so gonna die again. What? Well, yep. Wow. Wow. That was embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. Oh my god! The damage on hard mode, holy sh... Two hits and look at that! Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> oh Christ! This is this is actually kind of embarrassing. I'm somewhat tempted to uh, to just kind of cut this whole attempt out and just start a new. Oh my God! It starts again. I swear I'm not this bad. I swear I'm not this bad. Lies. Look at oh my god! I am so gonna die. Come on! Come on! Hey! There's no fucking way I'm gonna beat the boss here. No way in hell. Oh my god. This is bad. This is embarrassing. And here I am, the last part, saying that uh, I'm trying not to charge this, and two conversations in a row I have my blaster charging. I apologize, guys. I do. That's not very, uh... Not very conducive. Whoa! Alright, this blue flame, this is a move he uses... Very rarely on normal. He's using it because it's on hard mode. Oh my god, I'm in a bad spot. Oh my god! That is the first time I've actually beaten him outright like this, and I, I did it without getting hit. That has never happened to me before, probably never will. I'm glad I had that on recording. That makes up for the crappy play up to this point. Yeah. Alright guys, we got our new weapon! Firewave! Alright, well, we are going to go into our nice little save thing here. Let's save a new file. New data. Alright, this is going to be it for this episode. Um, yeah, hopefully this will not. Anyway, thanks for joining me guys. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. And uh, until next time, take care.